I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Welcome back to Doc vs The World. This is the series in which I discuss topics, media, and other things in life which annoy the fuck out of me. Now this could be anything, from stupid reasons to remove fan favourite characters, to The Walking Dead ending in 2022. I can talk about anything really. But on today's episode, we discuss one of the most ear-bleeding TV shows ever, a show that's also a bad influence on kids. Ladies and gentlemen, get out the grill and be sure to pass me some barbecue sauce, because today we are going over Peppa Pig. Oh boy, this show really annoys me. But as a kid, I used to eat it up and watch it all the time. But as an adult, I'm like, why the hell did I find this show funny? The show is ear bleeding, <coughs> annoying, painfully lazy, not to mention just dead air. That's pretty much what it is at some points. We're going to go over my personal gripes with Peppa Pig and discuss why I think it's one of the worst kids shows ever made. Number one, the characters. Now let's start off with the titular Peppa Pig, as it's her show after all. Peppa is nothing but a whiny, spoiled brat that constantly gets into fights with others when she doesn't get her way. I don't want to play with you anymore. <coughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <coughs> oh dear. Peppa and Susie have had a quarrel. Not to mention all of the fat shaming she does towards Daddy Pig, and all the time she makes fun of him and diminishes him. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> Say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> while her family just sits around and laughs at Daddy Pig's expense. A 10 out of 10 role model for the kids, ladies and gentlemen. Not to mention the constant oinking her and her family does. As you all know, kids these days are very, very easily influenced by the media and whatever things they see online. So I don't understand why the creators of the show purposely made the characters incredibly obnoxious and rude. They know their target demographic and what they're going for, so surely they should pick up on the fact that the kids would begin imitating their own bad actions. So yeah, Pepper is one of the most insufferable protagonists I've seen in a kid's show. Hell, sometimes she acts more like an antagonist than a protagonist, which you really shouldn't be doing in a kid's show. Secondly, we have George, who I can just describe in three clips which I'm going to play now. No, I saw. <laughs> This is incredibly groundbreaking stuff, folks. Free traits. Not to mention those traits being absolutely insufferable. I think the worst thing about how he acts is the parents' and guardians' reactions to what he does. You missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see Cocoon next. Now, kids throwing temper tantrums are completely normal. You know, they happen in our day-to-day -day lives. But the way that the parents on this show handle it it's a very, very, very bad way to do it. They just coidle around George and just give him whatever he wants if he cries, not taking the context of his actions into account. It basically teaches kids that, hey, if you cry, you can get away with anything, which is a terrible message that you should not be teaching kids. Not to mention he never shuts up. So even if you're trying to watch the show and find some kind of enjoyment, your ears will begin bleeding within the first three minutes. I think Pepper overall is the better character, but that's really not saying much considering the bar that is George's to get over is very low. Wombi Pig is one of the most blandest characters I've ever seen in a kid's show. She literally is just the mother and that's it. No other characteristics about her, except the times when somebody insults her husband and she completely goes ballistic on them. I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy! Give me that hammer. Good 
Goodness me. But apart from that, she's just the stereotypical guardian figure looking after the kids with no experimentation or any kind of way to delve out her character more. She's just the mother and that's pretty much all there is to her. Now out of the actual main pig family quote unquote, Daddy Pig's probably the best character here. And once again that really isn't saying much considering the standard the show set. Half the time it's just a pity fest towards him. The amount of stuff he has to take from his kids and from his wife is just depressing really. Also sends a bad message to kids that they can get away with bullying their father. Which once again, bad message, you shouldn't be teaching that. Somebody needs to buy him a beer or take him out for the night because I swear, out of any character in any TV show who needs a break, give Daddy Pig one, Jesus Christ. Number two, we have the other characters in the show. There really is nothing to them. You have all of Peppa's friends from her school which are just bland copy and paste, with basically just one thing about them that defines them as a character. You have the grandparents which are passable I guess, but they're alright. But nothing more than that, they're just pretty much bland. Then you have all the other characters like the fathers and mothers of all the other friends of Peppa. Basically just all copy and paste characters which really don't stand out in their own right. So yeah, the characters in this show literally are the definition of the word bland. Number three, the lazy animation. This has got to be the most laziest looking animation I've ever seen. All of the characters, their bodies look like potatoes. There is no definition in them at all. Not to mention their hands, arms and fingers are just sticks. No other things there. And this show has been running since 2004, and is still going to this very day. And they have not once tried to change up the art style. That's laziness right there, folks. And they have the money. Peppa Pig is one of the most influential and blown up kids shows I've ever seen. It's so popular internationally as well, it's not just in the UK. Which speaking of which brings me to another point. Number 3. Peppa Pig's influences in other countries. In America, for a while, there was a thing that was called, like, the Peppa Pig Apocalypse or the Peppa Pig Virus. But I'm pretty sure actually it was called the Peppa Effect. What this was is American kids started imitating Peppa, more than just her actions. They started to pick up a British accent, begun referring to American things as their British counterparts, like, for example, calling gas petrol, which is what we say here in the UK. Naturally, as an American parent, I imagine that this would tick you off quite a lot. Also, remember that time Peppa Pig got permanently banned in Australia because they tried to justify saying that all spiders were actually harmless? There's no need to be afraid, Peppa. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. When we know better, Australia has probably the most amount of poisonous spiders in the world, or close enough to it. Spiders are not friendly in Australia. Let's get that out of the way now. In fact, I think it goes as far as to some spiders being able to kill you within an hour. Within an hour. And Peppa Pig is saying that all spiders are friendly. Yeah. I think it's reasonable to understand why the show is no longer airing there. And lastly, number four. Why would you watch it in the first place? There are so many other better kids shows in the world that just do everything Peppa Pig does, but so much better. Think of shows like Sesame Street. Well, yeah, maybe a little creepy to others with puppets, but at least they try for something and do succeed in some parts, you know. They do teach good messages for the kids, and at least the characters behave all right. However, there is one thing I can give props to Peppa Pig for doing. At least the characters speak normally. Now, what do I mean by that? I'll explain. In kids shows like Dora the Explorer notably, all the characters talk very slowly and not realistic in any way. Personally, I don't understand why they do this. Is it because when we talk like this, the kids can understand us better? No, it makes you sound stupid. At least in Peppa Pig the characters talk normally. That is one of the only props I can give it. So ultimately in a nutshell, Peppa Pig is an obnoxious, stupid, and bad influence on kids, 
and I have no idea how the hell it has gone over a decade and a half and is still airing to this day. So these were my thoughts on this absolute pile of crap that is that show. If you enjoyed this part of Dark vs the World and you'd like to see a few more, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, hit the bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos, and comment down below what are your opinions on Peppa Pig. Do you agree with me that this show is an absolute pile of garbage, or do you find some kind of enjoyment in it? Let me know. But I'll see you in the next video, take care my docs.